All right, so I talk a lot about beginning with the end in mind. And so when you're starting a company, the goal is probably not just you forever. The goal is to probably grow it, get more successful, hire more people, maybe work yourself out of a job kind of thing. And this is something that I see, I used to see a lot, now I don't see it as much, but it still happens and it still blows my mind. So this is professional and scalable in at 19.com. Like, all you do is continue to add on more letters. It could be, it could be Nathan, it could be John, it could be Adam, it could be anything at 19.com. It's your name or your initial or your full name, whatever you want it to be, at yourdomain.com. It looks professional, like for example, if you get an email from Apple, it comes from apple.com. So it's scalable, it just is this, it just, it works. Nathan946 at gmail.com. <laughs> what? First off, not scalable. So if you hire employees or anybody else, it, it's like, what are, are they gonna all use their personal emails? And then companies are gonna be like, I don't know if this is a fake email or a real email because it doesn't have your domain on it. And then one that is acceptable if you're, <laughs> it's acceptable, I don't, I don't trust people to use it because again, like I'm about like, like if you, if you won't spend $5 a month for a reliable email, I get real worried. Um, but 19design at gmail.com, <laughs> you know, and it's like, that one works, that one's, that one's okay, um, but it just, it's still not scalable. Like, are you, are you gonna have a company email for everyone, everybody has the same username and password, and then they, they sign the signature, they change every time they send an email, like, you know, bite the bullet, spend $50 a year and get it at your domain. And you're not gonna regret if you get it with Gmail because then you get Gmail calendar. And I don't care what Outlook, Outlook people say, Gmail has the best calendar and Google Drive and all of that is linked in. It's better than OneDrive. Um, and it's five bucks a month, all right? Or if you do a yearly, you can do like yearly and save 10 bucks, I think. Um, anyway, that's today's wisdom. Uh, <laughs> it's not all that wise. It's just begin with the end in mind, add everything, including your email.